dynamic banter. Mike and Steve are gonna do bits and have some fun. Dynamic banter. Honking horns and ringing bells can make him good. Dynamic banter. Don't forget the history rows. Dynamic banter. Thanks to our sponsors that you heard just before the episode started, and we want to thank Scissors for Everyone. <laughs> scissors for Everyone gives everyone the ability to use scissors, even babies. Now, Steve, tell us a little bit about the baby scissors. Mm. Baby scissors are for when babies... Babies are curious. <laughs> and we can't keep... We can't prevent babies from doing... Being creative. Huh. I gave my baby a ballpoint pen and left it alone for three and a half hours. And when I came back, my little Graydon drew a bubble. <laughs> Bath? <laughs> Graydon drew a bath. He also, I gave him a ball boy <laughs> and he drew a bubble bath. He also definitely stabbed himself. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we got scissors, scissors for everyone. <laughs> One sec, when I, let me ask you something, Mom. When you drive, you ever been driving in your van and babies in the back seat screaming and hollering? Yes. And you're like, what can I give this dang idiot? Yes. To, so it'll shut its fucking mouth. Yes. And the answer, of course, is scissors, scissors, scissors for, for everyone. everyone. Give the baby enough scissors baby for everyone. Scissors for everyone. <laughs> give the baby scissors give... enough scissors for everyone. <laughs> we at Scissors for Everyone Labs have discovered that if you give the, a baby enough scissors for everyone, the baby will be entertained for hours. Yes, and now for a limited time only, we have Scissors for Everyone PM. Here's some footage of little Allison uh, from Tom Pock, Arizona. <laughs> and she here she is giving scissors to everyone. <laughs> It's a pretty solid activity. Do we have that video? <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Shut your mouth. Right. Sorry. And I'll tell you guys, Sorry. if you act fast, you'll get enough scissors for everyone. That's right. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Dynamic Banter. Nick Hamilton's here. Dynamic we got a special guest There's enough people in here to sound like an applause now. There's yeah, enough scissors in here for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. back. So, Nick, <laughs> dude, you are officially the first gay person in Mike's home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what it? You made me a promise. You're uh, also like the. Uh, you're like what Steve Martin is to Saturday Night Live to this podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You've never been, been a cast member. Barely show. <laughs> never you been barely a cast member. Show up, but you're brought up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you play the banjo, and you're gay every now and again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a gay every now and again. For realsies, though, you're the first guest in this. Excuse me. Okay. Well, we got one floor. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Let me just make fix this real quick. You don't clap. Just worry about. Just the boys. <laughs> Just the men. <laughs> and that's enough scissors for everyone will come directly oh, to your God. doorstep. But we've never had a um, guest in here. And here we Not are. in this house, no. And no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you, Damn. I didn't, I didn't touch anything. I made myself don't, quieter. How about this? Why don't you stop <laughs> touching <laughs> shit? <laughs> you know... This place, I, let me not as I forget. <laughs> and on the 16th, I'll be at the Infinity Room in Salem, Oregon. We're going to go to Bulgaria. <sighs> Thank you for joining us. <laughs> So, Nick, you're the first guest we've had in here, and clearly it's crowded. <laughs> and boy, is our space and boy crowded. Is this crowded. 
<laughs> how long will it take for you guys to regret I feel like we here? should maybe this is too inside baseball it's a mm. conversation we should have after the show but maybe there's a space we rent whenever we have a guest I don't think you do it enough so well I'm saying we should try to do it more yeah hmm okay we'll do a focus group afterwards I can't name three people I'd like to have on the show <laughs> Malcolm Barrett Malcolm Nick Hamilton. Nick is already here. He shouldn't count in this conversation. Kevin? No, Kevin is here. I don't want to. Kevin works on the show and he doesn't want to be a part of it. There's a certain Does it what about someone who you'd be okay with on the show but might not want to be on the show? The person doesn't want to be on the show? What if what if would that count as someone you might want on the show still? Cuz I'm suggesting so Zoya. So the premise is I want the person on the show <laughs> but, they, but don't they don't want, want to be on the show. Yeah. Zoya. Does yeah, that yeah, count yeah. as someone I would want on the show? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's funny. I don't want, I have this thing with Zoya where I don't want her to do things that would make her unhappy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't want Zoya on Exactly. The show. Mm-hmm. But there's a world where it would be nice because she's lovely. There's a world where now that the multiverse is real, there's mm-hmm. a world where everything is possible. Yeah. Or everything's Absolutely. nice. Yeah. There's a world where everything's there nice. There is a world where everything's nice. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> Um, so Nick, you uh, where are you from, man? <laughs> I can't place the accent. <laughs> I just can't place it. And and the boys and I have been tossing it around. We've landed on New Zealand. Yes. No, man. Listen, we miss you. We talk about you a lot on this show. We yeah. featured your music on this show. Yeah. There do you still have it? Just recently. Well, Did you get rid of it? To be, it? So there is a button here called Nick's song. And when I press it, it says that it's not findable. The file can't be found. Did you take it off the internet? Did you? Did you? Yeah, take I it, took it off. Did you <laughs> take it from my hard drive? Mm-hmm. It's fun to blame it on me. <laughs> What's the truth, <laughs> dude? Do you you put out music, and then are you interested in that anymore, or no? <laughs> Yeah, what's so okay? Hold on. Last time we had this fuck on the show, he was like maybe on the phone or something, right? And we were yeah. talking about some of his music. We did uh, a Zoom show with me. That was the last time I was fully on the show. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not. not so it's, real, it's, it's for real. Um, huh. and and that is because you made an album or something. <laughs> fuck me. We're, Nick's here to promote his album. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that, that came was a long, I'm talking about the last. <laughs> I'm talking about the last time he was here. Just Nick made an album. Yeah, an EP. You made an album while you were here. Yeah. EP, I, not while I was. Which means a little album. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God. <laughs> so what do you? So what are you what you talking want, about? You're almost done. <laughs> Is um, the EP so almost made... done? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Because you, I remember. Is it almost done? That's a great question. <laughs> I remember when you came here, you told us the EP was coming out in a different year, but you didn't, didn't um, say which year. Yeah, specify he didn't which. say which year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you guys yeah, would follow it. That's yes, true. you said, I'm pretty young. This EP is coming out in a different year. Yeah, you're mixing things up, but that's yeah. fine. Well, he also said he would be lying. Yeah. Oh, that's when he's on oh, the show. Oh. <laughs> so it was opposite day. You can't. You have to tell the truth on dynamic banter. That's a promise that we made today. Yeah, you can. Dynamic banter. Now, what is that? Uh, What's that? So, but you, ever since you made an album, you were like, uh, maybe I'll do some music and drinks or something. Maybe I'll make drinks now. And you've been a bit, a little bit of an alcoholic for years now. <laughs> there, there's another clip from the, album. the next song. And so you were like, I might as well monetize that. And so you so were like, hot in here. So Dude, you're so hot in here. <laughs> so you were like, here, drag that over here a little closer to you. Maybe we can make this work out for you. Do your family and friends ever worry about you? Need some water? And we just need you to stop drinking, and that's why you're here today. <laughs> you could still, podcast. this is a, yeah, you this still is make the drink. We're not yes. recording the show. No, <laughs> nothing. These are all just lights. Stop it. So <laughs> Billy Joel wants you to stop. Billy Joel wants us all to stop it because we're out of control right now, and we're having fun because we got our little boy in the studio today. 
and uh, it's been a while, man, and I miss it. And it's been a while since we've all been together, you know. So you're working on an EP. <laughs> this is gonna be on the internet forever, <laughs> and I know it's emotional. But if you can talk, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Let him spit in there. <laughs> Are you okay? You're gonna choke. <laughs> Just have a shell. A piece of the shell. I'm gonna break it off. Oh god. Okay. Now Nick, where can where can people get it? <laughs> Nick, so you started to do and uh <laughs> And was the clown mean in real life? <laughs> <laughs> and the real bully on the set, I heard. Uh, so, um, so you start doing these TikToks where you make drinks and shit. A lie. You know, I'm. I think I'm a bit okay with feet. And then you like did that, and now you're doing that a bunch mm. as well as acting. Yes. And all that shit in New York City on the East Coast. Yes. So tell us what the fuck that's all about, and we'll talk about it or something. Um. Yes, I, I make drinks now on TikTok. Scissors for everyone. PM. Sorry, the I gotta do quick that everyone should <laughs> use at, at night time. And the promo code for that, of course. One time my daughter woke up in the middle of the night and she was in the middle of cutting my hair. And I thought, hmm, how do I stop this from happening? Scissors for everyone. You called me, you said, I'm covered in scissors. This is enough for everyone. I said, I've got enough scissors for everyone. Hey, I've got an idea. <laughs> Welcome uh. back. <laughs> People listen to this. People pay you five dollars a month. Pay <laughs> I pay you five dollars a month. What the Thank fuck am I doing here? And Thank that's you. why you're here. We'd like to give all that money back Thank to you. God. Every patron will be a guest God. someday. But I would like to exchange Don't that, for, that for EPs. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like so. You've been doing kind of like the influencer thing. Yes, I have. And Steve. you know quite a few social media influencer folks, people that work for, you know, they do brand deals and shit like that. And this was kind of a, br a new thing to you. Mm. Is it nice? Do you like it? I don't like it as much as the other things, but I, it is make it. I'm very rich. You can see how people do it. I'm very rich. I said. You get very rich. Why do you expect it? me to react to that? <laughs> Why can't I just listen to you? You should be talk? happy for him. I am, but I don't always show it. I'm coming. I can show you my credit card. Show sure. What's that going to do, you think? Show me your credit card enough to let me memorize it and then take it back. <laughs> let's, let's wait for Nick to look for his credit card. What's your first favorite thing about being an infant? <laughs> we'll be right back. Shut up! Uh, so, but yeah, man, you could see how you could turn that into like a career. Like, is there a world, <laughs> yeah, I think. is there a world where you're like, Hmm, maybe if one or the other doesn't work out, yes. there's one I could lean into for sure. I do everything that I do. I enjoy. And I do about, I'd say conservatively four or five things. Wow. That's amazing. She's oh. conservative now. <laughs> I live in New York. What do you expect? Winter. <laughs> I also <laughs> expected that. Oh my god. Not now, but later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple no, months from now. Yeah, hot right now. Christmas. Hot. You have Christmas in uh, in New York City. What's that about? Mm. I would celebrate. <laughs> and why are you here? <laughs> Fun, right? Okay, there's Nick playing guitar. <laughs> now, Nick, let's get down. Love you. Let's get down to the. I've the been lying if I said. <laughs> can I? Can I strip away all this puppy cock 
and talk about what we really that. brought you here. Me and Steve invested heavily in a company called Scissors for Everyone, mm. and we're not sure exactly how to move units. We have boxes and buildings filled with scissors. I'm here as your marketing manager. You're an influencer. You're a very successful influencer. We are not. Ah. We are not. So we need your input. How would you move scissors for everyone? PM. Do you have a product here that I can use as a model? Pick yeah. your scissors. You got it. <laughs> Kevin walked out. Kevin Hart just walked out. <laughs> yeah, he's back. Forty million dollars every time. Mike and I put a little too much money into the every scissors for everyone. We honestly thought it would be a very good idea. I mean, never. <laughs> So, you, have you been traveling it's, it's, around and stuff? Been, Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> You've been traveling around? <laughs> and do they do small ends big? <laughs> For everyone, Nick. Are there small ends big? <laughs> Let's say you're somewhere and you need scissors. But you've subscribed to Scissors for Everyone, and you got it. <laughs> what do they? What do they provide? We th well, if if you need more of something, more of one thing that you have, you can cut it in half, and you have two of them. Imagine sharing that something because you had scissors <laughs> for everyone. Say Imagine you're in a room with everyone. I think I'm a bit okay with sleep. <laughs> and you're making crafts, yeah. and you want to. Yeah. Like you do. Uh, yeah. And everyone forgot their scissors. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Imagine oh. having scissors for everyone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I came into early. There's a fly in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, Nick, how tall are you? <laughs> okay. So, dude, like you... I don't you, think I've answered one have question, you traveled, by the way. You've been traveling thank around. You for your time. Yeah, thank you have for they time. sent you places, these yes. brands and stuff? Yes. And what have you been doing? I went to Vegas. And what did you do there? I tasted some alcohol. And why? What was that? What was that event? Well, it was the it was a, a Vegas um, Spirit Awards. So you, it was like a contest, or they were giving awards. Yeah, it was an award. There's Steve, awards. I believe that's when they crown the best ghost. <laughs> the and best they have spirits. drinks. Yeah, mm. and they all have drinks. Which and ghost won? The one and the award for the scariest getup goes to Christmas Past. Ghost of Christmas Past. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you, what is this? There's an award show for everything. There's an award show for boots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a product, isn't it? Called it called the Boozies. I told you what it was called. <laughs> oh, you don't know what it's called. No, I told you what it was called. Oh, what was it again? <laughs> Christmas past. You Tell said. me what it's called. <laughs> I thought because I want to look it up because it actually sounds like bullshit. <laughs> now, what if there were awards for everyone? I still have a little bit of money left over. <laughs> no, you don't, you you're getting into <laughs> that's not good. Awards uh, for everyone. Uh, that's just nice. In, uh, yeah, yeah. That's Dude, the that's problem good. with kids. The issue nowadays. is that how much money have you put into scissors? Okay, all have of that. Have you ever won in a? Have you ever been have in a team? <laughs> Kevin's having a good time, and have that's ever, all I care. Have about. you ever been in a team? <laughs> and every and you win. And everyone want who everyone wants something because they win. Trophies for everyone. Yeah. Awards for everyone. I think. Everyone gets Awards trophies for everyone. Congratulations. <laughs> I might poo in the middle of the episode. No, no, that's not. Not here. No, if you no, do, no, try not, to aim for the. That's not happening. <laughs> so, so you and you, what were you doing there? Were you presenting an award? No. I just went to taste all the things. You went to what? To taste, taste them all. Okay. Yeah. So you tasted the winners. No. What were they expecting from All of the entrants. As an in I'm talking. What were they expecting from you as an influencer going and tasting? I'd the post things? about what I was tasting. 
did you not like any of them or were you dishonest? There was one thing I didn't like, but mm-hmm. it, it was the non-alcoholic thing. So that probably makes sense. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Now it's hard to make non-alcoholic. This? I'm talking. Shut up! Spirits. You go ahead. <laughs> I'll make a note. Can I have your autograph? We have a sponsor, and that's Scissors. I, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Did Nick Nolte present an award at the Wino Why Awards? He? Why would he? You're going to call me a Wino? No, I said he's the Wino. I don't know if it's Nick okay. Nolte. <clears throat> Let's cut to a clip. Why not? How many? Okay, so you tried these. Was there like, is there a difference between any of them? Let's yes. Be Steve? And there's like an oak in there or something? It depends. If it's aged in a barrel, it's likely oak, yes. And you can taste that oak? Yes. That's nice. What do you think whiskey tastes like? What's the difference know. between the different types of alcohol? Here we go. Say one, and I got you. Scissors. <laughs> Not yet. Scissors mark. <laughs> Crown scissors. <laughs> kind of a scissors themed episode. Scissor Meister. Did they buy the whole episode? <laughs> Scissor Meister. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Nick, in all honesty, is there anything that you'd like to talk about? I just about? gotta clean off this computer. Okay. Well, here, I just wanna, like, you seem to not really want to get into this award show thing, but I'm really curious about it. Can I take my shirt off? Yeah. yeah. Now, your waist, it's about as thin as an arm. That's how a 24 inch python. How do you fit organs inside? This is something I've always wanted to ask Nick. How do you fit your organs inside that body? Do you have all of the organs that a human being should have? I haven't counted. Hmm. Maybe we could do that? If we had scissors. Yes, if it was scissors for everyone. <laughs> yes. Scissors for so much. Okay, I don't want This is gonna. <laughs> I've never seen Steve's thumb with that password. Just for later? Or... So who won who at the, won spooky the Ghost Awards? Yeah, who won the Spooky There's Ghost Awards? There's multiple awards. Okay. For a different category. What was categories. the best? I was flown there by a company that won some awards. Okay. And they were, they, were, they were entering and they were like, we'd like you to post about us entering and then also post about the event because they're friends with the guy who started it. Was it nice? <laughs> I was on Pornhub the other day and there was a post about someone entering. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you to LA, man? <laughs> Dude, we should be flown places to interview people. Yeah, this is going sure. really this is great. You guys are great. At I've this. got a lot of questions. I just threw out the window. <laughs> Dude, imagine us on like a red carpet. <laughs> uh, Steve's done those before. I definitely have. And I've seen him do it. I, I, I yeah. liked to do it. It was fun. All right. What's next? But you know, Check there was that list. part of the there was a there was that part of my soul that was like, I want to be on the other side. What did you? Is there something that you didn't like about it? Um, like being a red carpet interviewer person. No, I loved it. I got to go see movies and like. Who was uh, the coolest person you met? Keep in mind, you interviewed me. Who was the shortest person you met? Jessica Who's the Alba? coolest shirtest person? Who's the, who had the coolest shirt on? Rachel Dratch. <laughs> Rachel Dratch. She was from Wedding Crashers. The shortest person I met. Well, that's that's shortest. shortest. How, is, how short is Rachel Dratch? Shorter than me. I'm 5'7". How many are in or before that? What? How many uh, heights are before or lower than? Well, What's... lower than that, so... Yeah. Any lower than five seven? A lot of people think height starts at con- conception. <laughs> I 
Imagine if this is someone's first episode. <laughs> As it should be. I think it should be. I've I think got, this like, is a good introduction to this podcast. Like new-ish followers from like TikTok. And if I tell them that I've been on a show, they'll only listen to this episode. Good. Do you miss playing Fortnite with us? Do you need scissors? Do you need anything? Can I get you a sip of that? Do you want some of this? Do you want some of this pastry? <laughs> you got any problems we can help you figure out? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, what's going on? Yes. Do. Go ahead, man. Okay. It's the same problems as the the I was here the I was it was about it was something uh, about LA. And go. Something here? I was here three what is I was? What is I was? Yeah. I'd be <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get that? Get it out, bud. <laughs> to, 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 to today, Junior. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the best. William ever. Madison. Mm. Fucking Billy Madison, so yeah. good. Yeah. Pretty quick. Did you guys see that dragon? There's a sea dragon movie. There's no, a they, uh, my uh, friend is in it. I think. Sea oh, yeah? beast. Mm. Sea, sea beast. Sea I saw beast. the uh, signs for it. The Dude, big red it's, guy. Well, it's a very beautiful film. Mm. Is that right? Yeah. Normally, you know what That's I'm honestly head. curious about is most times you don't like movies, so I'm interested in when you do like a, a new movie that yeah. comes out. I, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I, I didn't finish it. I haven't finished it. I'm watching it in increments. Okay. I watch it when I have my lunch or something or like when I have a moment between like a stream or <laughs> between or peas. Between pee peas. <laughs> But uh, it's really a beautiful film, and it looked and it's really well animated, and like you know, uh, Carl Urban's in it. Who's He's that? the lead. He's that the boy boys. from the boys. The He's boys. Irish. Is he yeah. Irish? He's Scottish. New Zealand. Are you guys doing like a funny voice for right now, or is that how he? Sounds? That's how he talks. That's how he talks. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see that Judge Dredd, the new Judge Dredd, not the Sylvester Stallone? Judge I didn't know Dredd? they made a new one. Oh my! She's on yeah. every like uh, she's on uh, CBS or something like every afternoon. It's a my, show. My mom used to watch it. Oh, you're talking about Judge. Oh, you're talking about the old lady Dredd. Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. Oh. No, that's and Judy. she's like, don't talk back to me. Don't talk. That's Judge Judy. Dredd. We're no. talking about Judge Dredd. No, it's Dredd. And there is a judge. There but, is a no, modern Judge you're conf- Dredd. You are confused. Is there a modern Judge Judy? <laughs> Think about scissors for a second. <laughs> How are we gonna cut to a clip without scissors? That's a good point. <laughs> have you guys ever heard scissors? Yeah. Yeah. Can you get us some? I'm surprised you don't have any products here that I can kind of play around. A lot around of it's with. at the factory. A lot of the scissors came out backwards. <laughs> We're trying you to hold them by the. Yeah. They've made it so you hold them by the. Place. It's not good. We lost a lot of employees. Yeah, it's not good. Some of these scissors came out backwards. That's a really pleasing sound. It is really nice. Is. Yeah. And maybe that's why everyone needs one. Yeah. ASMR says. Oh, close your eyes for a second. POV, you're getting your hair cut by scissors. And then how was your day today? Is it nice? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, Who someone's is? going We're great. Getting... <laughs> Just kidding. How old are you? 22. 22? Hmm. Should be like. How long is this going to? You should take care of your um, the vitamins you can take that, that will strengthen your hair. Okay. I just want my hair cut. <laughs> you ever wonder what it'd be like to have scissors for everyone? Where did this music come you from? You know how I have scissors? You could have scissors as well right now. Imagine if everyone here had scissors. I'm, hey, would you, would you I was just, just getting my hair cut. Hey, would you just for a second? <laughs> Imagine if everyone had scissors. I feel like I'm crying. I feel like I'm crying now. <laughs> This show does do this <laughs> sensation where it does make you feel like you've been crying. <laughs> People who listen to this show to go to sleep wake up and feel like they've been crying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't you dare touch that. Don't touch the main frame. Don't even put your hand around it. So anyway, when's the Stay EPA? away. <laughs> so when's this new uh, Different Years coming out? Different song. Oh, okay. Different... Uh, it's called Never Alone. Oh, you got a new one. Yeah. Wrote it for a movie that, it's, that I'm going to be in. Whoa. Yeah. Can you talk about it? Yeah. 
We can't talk about it. I know what you're talking. Wait, you asked. Can you talk, talk about, about it? I yeah. would like to hear him talk, talk about, about it. Talk about it. And did you come to LA <laughs> when you uh, for a specific reason? Were you alone when you came to LA? Never alone. Is that what? Let's go to a cool little song. That's us paying you for the rights to hear that you say that line. That's Nick is here by the <laughs> hour. <laughs> he can't do that. I don't think you can say that. I mean, he can, but like, yeah. how dare you terrorize us with that? Okay. I can't wait until you forget and put your head in your hands halfway through. <laughs> I have to do an audition after this. <laughs> Where you're like, I don't know, it was dark. <laughs> What's this movie you're doing? Uh, it? It's called Brave the Dark. Ooh. Uh, we're aiming for like festivals. It's like one of those movies. And uh, my music producer was like, if it's going to go for awards, you should write a song for it or ask them if you can write a song for it because they'll probably, there's not a lot of good movies that have original songs in, in them. So you'll probably get nominated for stuff, even if you yeah. don't. Yeah. That's fun. Now, um, what if you bring that back to the writer director and they don't want it? That's fine. Is that, does that I, I asked them, they were like, uh, the director and the, and the producer, I was like, uh, hey, do you want, I can write a song for the film if you want it. Uh, and they were like, yeah, write it. You know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And I was like, yeah, I can just put it on the next album or put it out as a single, whatever. And uh, when's this show coming out? Tomorrow? Yes. I can't, yes, I can't talk about certain things within the song, but uh, it will be coming out with the movie. It's an Ooh. 80s movie, so it's like an 80s kind of disco-y Whoa. song. That's fun. It's a, it's a very good, one of my best songs. I've, and I've we written. have a clip of it right here. I'd love to hear it. Oh, my knife! My old man will kill me! You never... Can I, will you send it to him? <laughs> Are we allowed to play that part? <laughs> I sent it to you in, in confidence. <laughs> Can you send it to us? You have? You'll send it? Okay, good. I'll, I'll, I'll play it with you after the, for you I after the show. I love 80s stuff. I'll play it for you after the show. And I'll tell you what they, I can't tell these people. Oh, great. I love it. I love when you come here and you spill secrets. Steven, Steven can't hear. Steven? <laughs> Your name was... You have to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Please sell that. Is the brand the scissors, scissors for everyone and scissors so for give, everyone they, PM? They give other branded scissors to. I wouldn't show that part. Be careful around your neck. <laughs> Here's the dilemma that we're having. See what you have in your hands right now? Mm. How do you make that for everyone? You cut it up. Hmm. Cutting up the scissors is something that we hadn't thought about it before. You didn't like it? Steve is upset. <laughs> Steve didn't Steve like the upset. scissors. I don't think he's sold. <laughs> <laughs> See, if... I wouldn't have had to ha take such a big bite of that if we could cut it up. That's a good point. <laughs> I don't think these are the right ones for the job. Um. Guys, I want to thank HeadGum, and I want to thank our sponsors today for providing us with such wonderful um, ability. Uh... Happy Christmas. I'm gonna make a call real quick. Okay. That won't, ah! that won't mess up the ads, will it? Make a call! Nick's making a call, and we're all gonna listen ah! in to his call. Ah! Nick is making Nick a personal call, and we're all gonna listen ah! in to the call he's calling his manager.
Can you? Hey, stamps. Stamps.com. Let me tell you about stamps.com really quick. Your time is valuable. Why would you waste it on anything other than things that make you happy? Or get you spending more time with your loved ones. Uh, and when you're running a small business, every second counts. You can't afford to waste one even single moment. So why are you still taking time out of your day to go to the post office when you could be using Stamps.com instead? <laughs> Stamps.com makes mailing and shipping quick and easy. And cost effective. And it saves you time and money and stress. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. I had not known they'd been around that long. Around that long. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Can you make him go? <laughs> Can you make him go? <laughs> I love how he's still trying to nail it. <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Can I do one? Can I do yeah, one? yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? shipping services <laughs> right from your computer <laughs> and you can get discounts you can't find anywhere else like up to 30% off USPS <laughs> rates and 86% off UPS all you need is a regular computer and a printer no special supplies or equipment you're up and running in minutes printing official postage for any package, any package anywhere you want to send plus Stamps.com seamlessly works with Shopify. <laughs> <laughs> That's the postman. That's your original mailman when you get Stamps.com. Not only does it work with Shopify, it works with Amazon and Etsy and eBay and more. <laughs> He's real excited. So whether you're an office sending invoices, an Etsy shop sending your products, or a warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com is your mailing and shipping solution. So stop wasting time and start saving money. When you use Stamps.com to mail and ship, you can sign up with that promo code BANTER for a special offer that includes a four-week <laughs> trial, plus free postage and a digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts. You just go to stamps.com, you click on the microphone at the top of the page, and you enter that code BANTER. That's right, you enter the code BANTER! Thank you, Stamps. Thank you, Stamps. Ah! Can, I quick, can I make a quick call real quick? Is it all right? Gotta make a real quick call. Real quick. It's real, it'll be real quick. Welcome to Red Hot Dateline. You must be 18 or older to continue. Oh, fuck. Never mind. Is that your going. manager? Keep going. That's my manager. Hey, guys, new sponsor alert. And we're talking about upside here. From cringing at the pump to getting an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all where it hurts. That's right. And it really hurts. Mm. That's why we started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. With every purchase, 
we're earning cash back thanks to Upside. And you look, 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 look. To get started, you just download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Use that promo code Banter, and you can get five dollars or more cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more. Next, you claim an offer or uh, you know for whatever you're buying on Upside. You check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit card or debit card, and then you get paid in comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs you can earn three times more cash back with upside you can cash out anytime in your bank account paypal or an e-gift card for amazon and other brands upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week sounds very interesting a million dollars mike that's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the app store you dummies so download the free Upside app and get a promo code. Use that promo code BANTER. you get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Using that promo code BANTER. There's always an Upside. And Upside is here to be here for you banter, banter, on the Upside. Thanks, Upside. BANTER. BANTER. Dancer, dancer, dancer. Banter, banter, banter. Banter, banter. Why are you making me look at that ugly word? <laughs> banter, banter, banter. Why are you making me look at that ugly what word? What word? Can you say it for us? Absolutely not. That ugly word. I, know, I can't read it. Can you read that for me? Why are you making me look at that ugly hey, read that word. word. Read that word for me, Steve. I can't. I can't quite read it. I can't. I can't quite read that word. You Here, I'll put it, it and you can't read I'll it? I'll put it right on. I can write I'll put it on Mike's mic here, and then you can read it no, real No, I don't want clear. that on my mic. Real clear. Real clear and good. I really hate that word. You seem to love it. But I, I think it's fine if I love it. <laughs> what word is it? Which one? That one. I don't know it. You're... Get ready, Mike. You're recording. Keep it in there. What was the word? <laughs> Just Are kidding. we done with the sponsors? Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you sponsors. Thank you sponsors. Yes. Thank, thank you, so Mike. Much. I'm going to. I'm getting Great some job. of that money, right? No. Um, you have an EP what do you mean? coming. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, can I tell you my? You know how gas prices are crazy nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I tell you my idea to fix it? Yes. Yeah. We yes. let the gas stations keep all the scratch off tickets. And scratch Whoa. them off, and if the gas station wins, they buy us gas. Oh, Dude, cool! I think that's, that's nice. a great idea. Because yeah, who's buying them anymore? Who has the time? Yeah. Hey, what do you guys think to... about us jumping into some history road? I'd love that. What's that. And Nick can join in and have his two cents in there. I don't Nick, think I have a before cho- that, do you have any questions for us? For you? Yeah. I don't think I've asked. I've been asked. <laughs> I just asked you if you. Take your anecdote and let it fly to these guys. Or Mike and Steve will read it with them very open eyes. It's time for History Road. That's gorgeous. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. I wish we knew who did it. That's Metallica, right? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm so happy Nick's here. Nick, thanks for coming here. You Thank you, and I'm glad I've answered all of your questions. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I had a little something in my throat. You okay now? Yeah, man. Okay, good. <clears throat> That's good. It would be funny if you called somebody. If somebody left their number, if Nick. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. We should try that. How much does that cost? Bryce. It cost me? No, us. Sorry. That's all right. You can ask Is there a spider web? I can get it off. Dude, Zoya's. Uh, in Zoya's mom's old house, there used to be spiders that would make webs over the door. Oh, So when no. we came in late at night and no. the, the front light wasn't on, we'd come in like this. Hey, just be quiet. We're going now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Eating spiders. <laughs> 
and once in a while, and when I say once in a while, I mean every time, the spider would be in the web. Sure, yeah. So yeah. you walk through it, and the spider was like, what? That's my house. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Yeah, and then no. it's in your hair and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't find out until... <laughs> Sleepy piece. Well, they time. say you... That's not true. They say you eat spiders for breakfast. It's not. It's 100% breakfast. not true. What do you mean? Because why would a spider crawl into your mouth for any reason? Yeah, that's just meant to be a scary thing to tell people to scare them. It's a wives' tale. I wasn't you know gonna. How wives are I wasn't gonna lying. say that. You know how wives are lying. I wasn't gonna say. I wasn't. I can, I, I can still do it. Bryce says dynamic. <laughs> you can turn me down all you want. I can still do it. <laughs> I've had just about enough of Nick. <laughs> What if I talk like this? Is that gonna catch me? What if I talk this way? Is it catch me? Bryce says, Hello, Mike and Steve. <laughs> I've been curating a playlist of shitty mashups for almost six years since high school and made a second playlist of shitty mashups. That's fine. I mm. think you will really enjoy or hate with every fiber of your being. That's the two options, right? Apparently, I have ruined songs with this playlist. Cool. Is he the one doing the mashups? Yes, apparently. Interesting. So it's like girl talk, but bad. Yeah. Boy talk. Are you guys going to get dinged for this? Granted, I'm sure a lot of this could trigger the copyright vultures, but I feel like it'd be a fun time for y'all. Patreon on an episode? Hmm. Let's play four seconds of each song. This is the last time I'm sending this. Bye-bye. My plants have a piss kink. Bryce, miss the E.T. doll. Dress it up like a wrestler, please. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's pretty fun. What would you need? Glasses? Bandanium? Ben Daniel? <laughs> John claude Van Damium. John claude Van Sour Green Onion. That's, we can't do that's that. That's one ding. Yeah, that's the first Thank you for your history, Rote. It's <laughs> 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 I like that. That's fun. <laughs> Dude, the first night of the cover band, the new cover band in the bar. <laughs> He's nervous. He'll get there. <laughs> Everybody in the band is nervous. <laughs> Dude, this is the singer. I can't. I think. It's not, I'm not getting in the, in the monitor. It happens too fast. I can't. You train to a passion for glory. I don't think this is going to get hit because it's not even the to song. Dream, <laughs> on the dreams of the past. You must fight just to keep It's them almost alive. over, too. He's going to get it. You get it. Here it is. I can't. The monitor. Okay. Uh, monitor in the middle. Up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody fun. else drops out. You can finally hear us. <laughs> it just takes a stab at us. So fun. All right, that's good. If that's you fun. sing like that, definitely start a band. It's your time. Yes, absolutely. Oh, for sure. These are all pretty short. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> Is that the uh land down under? Yeah, that's yeah. great. Oh, I like wow, it. Wow, beautiful. This was on Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> this is this gorgeous. Is yeah. Some bears. I met a strange lady. She made me nervous. She took me in <laughs> and gave me breakfast. <laughs> Come from a land down under I like it a lot. Oh. 
better take cover. Wow, that's great. Nice work, buddy. That was really nice. I liked it a that lot. one was my 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 favorite. Man, um, I like it a lot. So he didn't make uh, these. He just put this together. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was my that was my feeling when you just said that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. What else? Cuz they're what's all next? different artists. But what is what's the next history bro? Cuz I'm kind of done getting dinged. <laughs> what does that one say? This one says I'll be at the Infinity Room. What's the other thing? A late Which show, other July 16th. There's still tickets for that. That's tomorrow as the crow flies. July 22nd, I'm back in LA at Shoebox. And I'll, of course, I'll give you that. I'll give you the address for that. And then July 27th, uh, I'm going to be at JFL 40. It's a huge deal. In Montreal, Canada, July 27th. And you can get tickets for all those. MikeFellsHome.com. You didn't say all the dates. All the... Are you saving some? I said, let me take a look at it. I said, July 16th is the Infinity Room. That's tomorrow. Yeah, you said that. Down a little bit further. July 22nd, Shoebox. You said that too. So, uh, one more. Los Angeles. July 27th, I'll be in Montreal at the JFL 40. There's just one more thing on those two pages there. What does that one say? Let me guess. It says... As much as I didn't like hearing him say it, it is what it says. <laughs> <laughs> it is what he wrote down. It is it's what he wrote down. And when your friend wants you to read what he wrote, I guess you have to. He begged us to read it. He begged us. I've never done anything Nick has begged me to do. Guys, we have a history road here from Sarah with an H. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Who made that noise? Which one? Did you make that noise? Who was bummed out? Steve. <laughs> I'm bummed out. Okay. Steve was you don't like it. You're not a Sarah with an H. Useless letter. Are you a S A R A person? S A R A is Sarah. So you're wrong. Sarah. Sarah. Hmm. Hmm. Sarah with a with an H at the end makes it Sarah and not Sarah. Sarah says, "I hope you enjoy this local news story as much as I did." It is her favorite local defecation news story. Do you think in broadcasting school they have students read shit like this to try not to laugh? <laughs> Millvale. What's PA? Pennsylvania? Uh-huh. Millvale, Pennsylvania. A Millvale homeowner claims that an that. Amazon delivery driver... <laughs> <laughs> did the unthinkable right in front of his house Michael Gundy says he got a horrible package <laughs> oh no <laughs> don't we all <laughs> delivered right outside of his house in Millvale <laughs> I smelled it and tasted it what? I ended up delting it <laughs> I couldn't get that taste out of my mouth for like two hours, says Gundy. Oh, no. Why'd he taste it? The stench was still in the air when we went to interview Gundy and his family. Like, you could taste it because it was so bad? Yeah. Like, he didn't actually oh, we taste tell, it? Oh, actually... it's all connected. To the... Gundy claims his ring doorbell camera caught an Amazon delivery driver defecating in the street on Sunday afternoon. Defecating in the street. Amazon delivery driver pooping in the street. Where do the Amazon drivers go to the bathroom during the day? That's a good point. They, they might need to do it in the street. Hmm. There's no toilet in that van. Doesn't seem safe for the community. I pointed at him like a principal, I said. I said, you keep coming up the, the hill, so he, keep, so he comes up the hill. Running up that hill, running up that hill, running up that hill. Running up that hill. That's the ding. That's the ding. That's that the ding get. we get. I was standing in another man's fecal matter. Anybody would be angry, he said. Why did he smell it, eat it, and then stand Let's in it? Let's find out. He saw the employee doing it and, then and decided to stand I'm going to go stand in it. <laughs> the video and shows the it. Amazon driver pull up, then he gets out of the truck and walks to the opposite side. He stays there for a few minutes, then on God, slowly walks out and throws something in the trash. 
The driver puts the truck in reverse and drives away. <laughs> in reverse as fast as he can. <laughs> sure. It's disgusting and it's the foulest thing I ever smelled in my life. I do a lot of nasty things during construction. And that was the nastiest thing I ever smelled. Damn. Gundy tells Channel 11 that he went back to look at the cameras after his granddaughter tracked fecal matter into the car. Oh, dude, grandkids are always stepping in shit. Always. Mm. He says he watched the video and confronted the delivery driver who was still dropping off packages in the neighborhood. Dropping, dropping them off. <laughs> yeah. I said, you left your napkin with fecal matter in the middle of the street. He said, buddy, I didn't have a napkin. <laughs> I said, you left the evidence with your fecal matter on it, my man. Nobody else rode by and did that. Who did the person writing this have the interaction with the this is the guy traffic? quote unquote yeah no Whoa. I think the email is the guy watched the news no oh, right, this right, is right, the right, news right. article I'm reading the news article yeah I know, I know the email sent you the news article yeah right. email sent me the news article yeah. got it I'm on the same page Gundy says he handed the driver a water hose to clean up the mess and that made things worse it spread oh, to his no. shoes and the side of his truck. The side of his truck. I called was he Amazon. Aiming towards the truck. I was on the phone with them for three hours, and they gave me the runaround. They put me in loops for three hours. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's like him shitting up a wall. Gundy tells shitting Channel up Eleven. Wall. <laughs> shitting up the. <laughs> Gundy tells Channel Eleven he doesn't, he doesn't want the driver fired. <laughs> But he does want Amazon to clean his street and replace the <coughs> items that are now ruined. Does Bezos have to be in a meeting with that for that? Yeah. Because I like, it's like I okay, like that. what what happened? <laughs> I'm in space for Christ's sake. Wow. All right. You can't shit in the ISS. So this guy had an emergency. I was like, fuck it. I got. I'm gonna either shit my pants or I gotta shit in the street. What items were what? ruined? I don't know. Maybe shoes. Hmm. So why are they stepping in the shit? Dude, kids step in shit a lot despite being low Out to the, the ground. The but street, they tasted though? it and eaten it. He said he <laughs> no, could taste it because it. it was so steep. Pungent. But yeah. he put it in his mouth. No, he put it in his nose he involuntarily. He said he but then it goes help, into but it went but in the it. but he ate it. I guess in a way. He, he said particles it. He said it, it kind of smelled like food, Your Honor. Well, food. that's what it previously was. Yeah. Yeah. Previously, on, that. previously on shit. <laughs> previously on food. Uh, guys, this is your road is how to fuck the sun debate. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Dear Mike and Steam, I am a 20-something horn honk boy. Long-time listener, first-time history roader. I feel duty-bound to comment on a recent discussion you had on the podcast that I may be qualified to contribute to. I don't give a fuck, Okay. I think I wish you'd hear him out. The discussion was about Steve's tweet at Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, we all remember. I asked him if he could fuck the sun using today's technology. I don't give a fuck. Has he responded to you yet? No. Hmm. Steve highlighted this reply as a potential solution to his compelling question only by proxy if one were to ejaculate into a particle accelerator. We remember. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a, I am a actual particle physicist. Oh, Whoa. humble brag. Yeah, that's fun. And I must report, after some deliberation, so funny to be that and to listen to this show mm -hmm. that the commenter has, as we say in the academic world, bungled it. Uh uh. Ooh. Nothing like a nothing like a well actually particle. I physicist. know from a yeah, particle that's physicist. Nice. Unfortunately. <laughs> It is not possible to accelerate cum in a particle accelerator due to the fact that it is not electrically charged. Hmm. Which is a shame, as it would be pretty cool to throw electrified ropes. <laughs> <laughs> electrified ropes! Jackpot. Coming into the sun! <laughs> gonna Coming come up the sun! Coming up the sun! Coming up the sun! I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Kate Bush wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the studio made her go down. If the I was record gone, label was like, I'd come on the side. <laughs> Different. And our reps in there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
Um, Kate, I'm just confused as to what you're going to do with the song. <laughs> you could potentially ionize gaseous cum. I'm coming day and night. To make it charged <laughs> and then accelerate it. However, the accelerated cum ions I'm coming. would interact with air and dissipate if they left the vacuum of the accelerator. So you could not fire them at the sun unless you had a particle accelerator in the vacuum of space, maybe. Can you... Can you clear something up for me? This whole time, I'm picturing you kind of aimlessly floating, <laughs> floating towards yeah. the sun. <laughs> and, and then you, like, unzip your yeah. pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of this, like, uh, secondary and, like, third-party equipment is ruining my perception of mm -hmm. what's happening. Yeah. You're trying to, like, grab the sun with your hands. <laughs> and and yeah. put yeah. your dick in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just want to fuck the sun. Yeah. 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 Why? Well, I just want to know if it's possible. Because it's hot? If somebody was to just say, no, it's not possible. I just want to know if with today's <laughs> technology, it's possible. Uh -huh. Or if with, As in the opposed. future, it could be possible. Mm. Could I think you fuck the sun at night? When it's sleeping? Well, that's not okay, is it? <laughs> that's no. not asking consent. <laughs> no, it's not. No. It's not okay. Can't um, do that. Uh. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> really furthermore, I'm thinking of it. Really makes you think. <laughs> furthermore, does ionized cum vapor still count as cum? I don't know. Can you make vapor out of cum? However, you're talking about shooting cum at the sun. Yeah, that's not well, what you're talking I about. I think what people are saying is, is shooting cum. Well, he's he's specifically talking about this person that said you could fuck the sun by proxy. But by ejaculating into a particle accelerator. But not all fucking is ejaculating. Exactly. I right? talked to my ex-wife. So this is what... So <laughs> <laughs> when did that happen? So look, this is... So that person... That, so recent. So this whole email is spawned from that one comment yes. of that guy saying that the only way to fuck the sun is by proxy. I think... So these people are saying... The only way to fuck the sun is to get sperm on the sun. Yes, sure. <laughs> There's no way to physically Spunk fuck it. Spunk on the sun. Yeah. There's just no way to physically fuck it. I think um, maybe if you were... I think what you're talking about, fucking the sun, your dick and your... I guess your body because you're so close to the sun. Penetrate it would sun. need to be so protected. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a big layer of pillows. Yeah. If you... This might not be what you're talking about. But if you had sex with a man who had parents, wouldn't you technically be fucking a son? I fucked a son last night. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, okay, but however, there is still hope okay. from the particle accelerator physicist. I, pr I, pro <laughs> I propose to you an alternative solution that can be achieved with today's technology. Okay. Hmm. If you were to penetrate a nuclear fusion reactor, you would be able to recreate the same conditions as the surface of the sun. Of course, you would not be fucking the actual sun, but the sensation and end result, which is penis vaporizing, would be the same. But your penis your... would vaporize. vaporize. Well, yeah. I don't think we should be surprised by that. But literally in the tweet, in your language, you're talking about fucking the sun. You're talking about... The sun. You yeah. look the... in our sky, you see the our sun. sun. Yes. You're not looking to fuck some kind of artificial sun. He's at it. Nick really has to go to the bathroom bad. <laughs> Nick is trying... <laughs> I haven't done this one. I haven't done this yet. <laughs> I really need to poo. Go, go poo. poo. I would go in this bathroom to your right. I'm surprised he wasn't dropping brown eggs in yeah, here. Yeah, we have a camera in that one. Why don't you think he was blasting dirty eggs in here? Because he has uh, um, respect Concept. for us. Yeah. Respect? Yeah. I would have been blasting ass in here. I know. Can't help it sometimes. Uh... But the sensation and result. Okay, with peace and love, I hope this helps answer your question best. Kloom, which is not his legal name. Thank fuck. I'm a Kloom. P.S. In the same episode, you also talked about AI-generated songs, which gave me an idea. 
I also do some AI research, and I thought it would be interesting to try and train an AI to write an episode of Dynamic Banter. Yeah, that's good. I could also train AI to clone your voices and record a short, completely AI-generated audio podcast excerpt. Mm -hmm. I think that that would be great. Of course, I'm not going to create an AI Mike and Steve without your consent, so let me know what you think. 100%. I just don't want it to have sex with my Dude, wife. Dude, this is how we enter the void. <laughs> yeah. Because he's creating an AI version of us. Yeah. We'll be able to send our consciousness into the AI versions of how ourselves. How do you program something like that? I don't know. You'd have to be a particle physicist. Oh, same person. Same person. Yes. I'm forwarding this to Kevin Plackey. Kevin says permission. that's Patreon content if I ever heard of you, uh, you have, <laughs> yeah, you have our permission, oops, to, uh, to use this. To it's use a one-time deal. One-time deal just to this guy. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want this to be an ongoing, you do not have my consent for I it to be an ongoing thing. I need it to be a one-time thing that we get here. P-L-A-C-C? Oh, you crazy? One C. Steve is now just learning how to spell Kevin's name. I've never had to spell it in my whole And there's whole an life. H in there. In there. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Anyway, fun idea. Thank you so much. And Nick's back. Joanna sends a DB Labs proposal saying, who the hell let David Lynch around these children? Hmm. I don't know. That's a great question, though. Here we have Nick getting into a chair for the first time. Hello, don't worry. I'm not going to call you horn honking born boys or give you my number to call me or do any of the other overdone bits that the listeners of this goddamn show just won't let die. Wow. I recently stumbled across this clip of David Lynch directing an episode of Twin Peaks, The Return, and it re immediately reminded me of you two. It's giving... This is a serious message energy. I don't want to hype it up too much, but it did make me laugh for a good 15 minutes straight. Ooh. So if you don't find this funny, I'll probably cancel my Patreon membership. <laughs> Uh-oh. I already think it's funny. It's hilarious. You can pay us to think shit's funny. That's it. <laughs> Hope you two are well, <laughs> Joanna. All right. This is it. This is David Lynch talking to children. Start making your noise. Start making your noise. Roll around on the floor and make your noise, Alden. Here we go. Can you make your noise? Alden, if you could start crawling on the floor and making some noise, that would be so beautiful. <laughs> cry for me. Crawl on the floor and cry like a little baby. Can you do that, Alden? Can you cry out like a little baby? There's somebody for masturbating for this right yeah. now. So I think somebody crawl, is. Crawl the music there doesn't help. And crawl no. around and cry like a baby. See, uh, real loud. Can you do it? Real loud. Can you do it? Crawl and cry like a baby. Alden, do that thing. That would be so beautiful. That's great, like that. Can you make noise? Keep making noise. Make some make some some crying noise. Some sad, loud crying noise. Hey, Alden, I'm happy. sorry. Quiet on Don't the set. Could is you this, fucking... You ever heard of a this, cry? Is this kid a fucking actor? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, ah! Roll around and be, be you know, upset. Roll around roll and be, be a upset. baby, you fucking baby. Roll around. What if he was like, why don't you roll around and be a fucking baby? Hi, I'm someone... sorry. You're not that far removed from being a baby. <laughs> if I had to... If I if I was directing something and it just wasn't working, repeating over and over again, well, I'd be like, like someone a... bring me a kid that can do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Hey, Alden, yeah. you're out. You're out. This yeah. is what being fired feels like. Does that make you want to cry? You could have been the next Drew Barry. Roll back the other way. Roll back the other way. Well, is this like Roll a super cut way. or is this like no? He is. he hasn't stopped. Roll back. Roll back. Roll back. But is it edited or is it just what it is? Scream out. Yeah. Scream, Scream out, out at the man at the door. Well, we got it. He yeah, got him. At least he got there, you know. And he has someone wipe his brow after that. Joanna, it is funny. I don't think we'll be laughing about it for 15 minutes, but. 15, she said? Kind of makes me worry about Joanna. It's funny. Haven. From Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Her name is Haven. Haven. Like heaven with a. Haven, haven isn't too far away. <laughs> Where is she? San Francisco. Haven is the place on Earth. 
History wrote, I almost drowned my husband. Uh oh. Hello, D B B B B B B B B B B boys. It's a it's your two horn honking art making gore. <laughs> Haven, you can you can say my name, but don't say it three times. <laughs> We've done it already. Yeah. 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 This is a short little history rope. Last night, I was minding my business, thinking that my husband had left the kitchen after refilling his water bottle with my sound canceling headphones on and my eyes glued to my computer. I began to sing dynamic banter, Mike and Steve and Mike and Steve and Mike and Steve. He quickly reappeared around the corner with his hand over his mouth, trying not to choke on water. I yell, go to the sink to try to save his life while laughing hysterically from shock, but also the comedic goal that was happening before me. <laughs> he decided to be a hero and swallow it instead. Oh, so she, he was laughing at her singing the theme song and just saying, oh. Mike and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Steve, Mike and Steve, Mike and Steve. I love it. I love it. Thanks for all the laughs for the last decade, and shout out to Ryan for all the amazing content on YouTube. Ryan's been doing great. He's been really killing it. With I don't give a fuck. Well, <laughs> P.S. We met Mike four years ago, shortly after my husband and I got married, at the show in Niagara Falls at the Sammy Horner Comedy Chin. Club. Such a fun time. You were actually in town. Yeah. 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 Well, and... Toronto? Yeah. Yes. That's that was when that... we... Yeah. Wow. That's... Yeah. Mike's it too, Niagara we're... Falls. Yeah, yeah, we were shooting it too. Yeah. And we got sushi. We went to like a sushi We went to uh, Mamafuku, I think. Mamafuku, yeah. Um, what a beautiful... They say that Canada has was the that best late, The girl was there. Of the falls. Which one? Four? <laughs> Can I have a bite? <laughs> um, oh, apparently at the show in Niagara Falls at the Corner Comedy <laughs> Club, she gave you a couple of ocean paintings for us to fight over. Oh, yeah. There's one. Glad to see it up on the wall instead oh, of the wow. darkness of a Tupperware storage container in my closet. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. Uh, peace and love. Haven from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Thank you so much. And I hope that you guys are doing well. Hmm. You and your marriage. Yeah. Let's see. Better not that you. Better not that you. Are you cold? Your hands are cold. Running up the hill, the, the running up the hill. Do you have low iron? I don't have any. How of do it. you drink so much and uh, stay so in shape? I guess I'm young. Does it? Oh yeah, you do have great metabolism. I'm a tutu. Yeah. You work out. I'm a tutu Somebody horn asked me boy. how old you were the other day. I'm a tutu day. horn boy. Yeah. I don't. I work out a little bit, not enough to warrant all the drinking that I do every day. I don't drink. Much. Okay, Jose. Yes. Do you work out every day? No. Interesting. I hardly work out. Jose sends a history road saying, saying, bring him back the piss, volume two. Don't bring back the piss. Howdy, partners. It's uh, Dynamic Panthers friendly UPS driver who was, a born, <laughs> who was born a brown boy and wears brown clothes. UPS. Oh, from the you last read, one. You read this guy. Yeah, yeah. Um... I had my first history road read on the on the titled episode Trash Cauldron, and I was freaking stoked. He had a great story. I love how you guys very much appreciated how I took a break from the show, came back, and fell more in love with the show again. Yes, thank you. I would love to share how the conversation went with the Peoria Far North Target cashier when she recommended the show and explain why UPS drivers do not like Amazon mm. and FedEx ground drivers. My number will be below... I'll be more than likely dropping Browns around town and jamming out to Yacht Rock. <laughs> Dude, but we'll cool. be more what than a happy nice to I take like a quick guy. break for a, a call. Adios, brochachos. All right, we doing this? Yeah. What is this, Star 67? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. This is Jose. It? This is Jose. Yeah. Jose. Jose, you dropping Browns? Jose. And I say his number, yeah? Yeah, uh, don't. No. Oh. Can you turn down this a little bit? Oh, yeah. Hello? Hi, is this Jose? Yes. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, this is, uh, this is Nicholas Hamilton. 
uh, from it and it to to chapter two. Sorry. This is. I'll say it again. Nicholas, I am Nicholas Hamilton, and you should know me. Who I am. And was it, were my episodes in the ones you skipped? Maybe. Dyna you sound familiar. Dynamic banter. You should say dynamic banter at some <laughs> yeah. point. Tell him it's dynamic banter. No, he doesn't need to know. Jose? Jose, this is uh, yeah. dynamic banter. Hey, what's up, Nicholas? Hello. <laughs> what's that? What's He's that? in a can you, shut up? Can, you, can, you, can you shut that noise up in the background for us, please? Yeah, yeah. are you hitting up a Hot Pocket? Jack or? Five. Jack. No, oh. Delivering boxes like I do in Arizona. Oh, because you're the brown brown. Yeah, you're, you're the brown guy dropping browns. I, I'm the I'm the brown boy dropping browns. Brown boy dropping browns. Look, we'd like to ask you some questions. Go for it. How much time do you have? I got I got plenty of time. I got yeah. I'm I don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> so the first question. <laughs> I didn't anticipate that. <laughs> so the first question. Is, ask him if he wants scissors for <laughs> do you want we're kind of we're, we've invested in this company and it's where we kind of give these scissors to everyone you can hear him yeah how's this sound ask him if you'd like to invest would you like to invest in that company for us with us I, I would yeah mm. I, I, Good. It's one of those things where where I have to get three friends on board, and then if you do it, you have to get three friends on board. And I'll take it from here. And you know, the thing with the scissors for everyone is, Jose, <laughs> is that everyone can have scissors, including babies. Okay, okay. So, and let me ask you this. When was the last time you used a pair of scissors? Uh, this morning. This morning? Yeah, so you yeah. use them quite often. I do. Would he ever use scissors PM for nighttime? Would you use scissors at nighttime? <laughs> scissors PM. PM scissors. Uh, yes, I would. They make you all sleepy. And let me ask you this on the record. Do you think everyone should have scissors? Uh, yes. Yes! Sure. Thank you so much, Jose. Sure. And that's how easy it is. <laughs> that's how easy it is to get scissors for everyone. Guys, I want to thank you for listening to today's episode Happy of Happy Birthday. Nick, well, how fun, how fun has it been for, to have you here in the studio? <laughs> it has been fun to have me here. And it has been so fun. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it has been so fun. <laughs> Mike? What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> it has been fun, Nick. And I've loved having you here. Steve, I've loved having you Love here. Having you. I was a little bit worried about our investment before this episode started. Anymore. Not anymore. By the end of it, I'm very secure. I'm in. All the money that we spent. Uh, world famous influencer Nick Hamilton is in, if that influences your decision in any way. Nick, I want to thank you for being here, man. I miss you so much. I love you. Mm. Any plugs before you go? Jesus. <laughs> bye bye. You want to plug Jesus? <laughs> plug Jesus. Uh, that movie's coming out soon. I'm going to go off and shoot another movie. Check me out on TikTok as uh, Nick. Hamilton. Nick with no K because I'm a bit of a pretentious cunt. <laughs> It's so important to recognize that yeah. within yourself before you can see it. Not yeah, it. I think so. And um, yeah, anything. Do you have any shows? Tomorrow like? I'll be at the Infinity Room in Salem, Oregon. <laughs> I thank you so much. And he's driving there right now. Uh, 13 hours from this spot. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't be driving with scissors. But uh, he did choose to do that. And then on the 27th, I'll be at JFL in Montreal. You guys have already bought a bunch of tickets. If you could buy the rest, that would be amazing. Without even us... Uh, telling you who's on the show which is amazing and uh i loved uh being here with you guys i love being healthy enough to fucking hang out with you guys today and it made me very happy uh and uh thank you kevin thank you leah for the clips thank you nick thank you kevin for thank you ryan thank you, for doing a great job thank you nick thank, thank, you, thank you steve thank you mike thank you me thank you steve thank you mate and we'll catch you guys next time on dynamic Band. i'm a fan that was a headgum podcast. Cast. 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 Cast.
Shut up!